Hello there YouTube, this is Stealth Gaming here. <clears throat> and I am going to make a video on how to make a map for Command Conquer Kane's Wrath. Now, in order to do this, you would have to download this file, which would be in the description. And inside this file, you'd see a folder called CNC3 Kane's Wrath. Drag that out. Minimize this. Open it. And all these files, what you'd have to do, if you have the Steam, ver if you have the Steam version of um, Kane's Wrath, you'd go to Computer. C and de depend if you modified where your Steam directory is, you should go to where the Steam directory is. If you did not, it should either be under Program Files and then Steam, or Program Files 86 and then Steam. I modified it and put it under Games, and there is who Steam is right here. Now open Steam, go down to Steam Apps, double click that, double click Common. And then you should see something called Command and Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath. That is if you bought the game. And this is an expansion pack for Tiberium Wars, so this would not work unless you have Tiberium Wars. So go ahead and double click on Kane's Wrath. And as you can see, I already have the world builder here, but what you would do is you would open the folder, this folder, and move it to the side, select all this drag it and drop it in, into here now I have already done this and it is all it is already in there so let's assume I just did that so now I just did that and now I have all these files right in here now what you'd want to do is I just created a shortcut into my desktop since I have I'm going to be making a lot of maps and it is easier to start so you can do that if you want or you can always open your steam open your computer program files or games and go to steam steam apps common and this and run it so just double click that minimize this I accept the terms and services you should see this it should load and after it loads it should pop up with window when it loads oh there we go so it's probably with two windows now it's for me it's always on the side of the screen what I do is just make it full screen and you will need a bigger monitor and if you don't have a big enough monitor I would suggest um, going to the desktop right clicking clicking screen resolution and then lowering your screen resolution I mean raising your screen resolution up so it'll bump up the monitor like see it make it think that I have a giant monitor but I don't and so that would make everything else and the screen small as you can tell from my desktop and so since these are very long and, so, and some of them you'd need space for so let's say I did now now I have this and if you right click use right click and drag around the screen you can move it move the map where you are if you hold the the uh, mouse scroll button if you just hold the middle scroll button just click it and move your mouse to the left and right you can rotate the screen just like in the game and left click will place an object or like do a command that you assigned <clears throat> now first thing you want to do is click file new and you I, I like to play with even numbers in the height of items I would always like to go with 50 and the reason I go with 50 is because later on when we lower the ground and I'd want water underground and I want it to look deep or not deep at all I can easily modify it and do a lot of things with a height of 50 and border size I would always go with 10 it gives me enough space to add stuff on the edge but does not take away the map space now the horizontal size and the vertical size the horizontal size is obviously horizontal and the vertical size is obviously vertical and you can choose what to do with what now since I am going to make a <coughs> 2 versus 2 map I will not pick 600 I will pick 300 and let's see I'll go with 200 okay now if you start here and so I'm going to, sc and to scroll out just scroll out with your mouse key so this looks like a fairly small map as you can tell here now what I am going to do is I uh, first thing think about what you what you want your map to be for example I would probably want two spawn areas one here one here one here one here some Tiberium in the middle here's a bunch of Tiberium spikes 
I have a smallish town here with a bunch of hills right here, so there's a, a, a tiny gap to get through, and it's difficult, especially since the AI always goes for the uh, towns. And so that's what I want, okay? And I'm going to just have a hill on the side, right here, just a hill. Right, so first thing we're gonna do is click Edit, click Edit Player List, <coughs> and then there, <coughs> and then there's a button at the bottom called Add Skirmish Players. Now just click that and it's going to add all the information you need to add in for the AI to play, for you to join the game and all that stuff. So click OK. And so that is that is done and good. So now this is your map, right? Now first thing first things first, let us add the landscape. So I said I wanted hills on the well I wanted hills on the side, but in order to do that we'd want to know where the initial border is because it adds uh, like the edge of the map is like around here and so this isn't the edge this is just a preview edge so what we're gonna do is click view and we are going to scroll down to let's see show impossible areas now hmm, something should have popped up let's see here. Wait a minute. Okay, show map boundaries. So you're going to go down and click show map boundaries. Now, this orange line is exactly where the map ends. So anything, like, this is where the edge of the map is in-game. All this space in here is just the edge of the map in the editor so you can add, like, oh, like, uh, a lake kind of fading into the edge. So this is all done in gray right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hill. But in order to add a hill, we'd first need to raise the land. And in order to do that, there are three brushes here. One lowers the ground as you can see now is grill lord and to reverse something you can just simply hold down control and click z at the same time and it would undo any command you did and then this second brush which has a plus sign to it is called uh, mound and what it does is it raises the ground so that helps you to make hills and so I'm just control z which would remove that and this other tool is a very nice tool. Now, the height of the map is 50 as we started in the in the beginning, right? We set it to 50. So the brush height is going to be 50. Now, anything we do won't change it because that's the same height as the map. But let's say we want mountains on the side to be, let's say, 100 high. We put 100, move this down, and you, with the minute you click, it's going to instantly raise the ground to 100 as you can tell right here and this isn't the neatest thing to make hills why because it's just so straight and dull so it's it won't really give you a hill effect and so let's say this now this edge looks more like a canyon edge not a mountain edge if you wanted to make it a mountain edge you could just take the, this tool and add like this the edges of it but then it still looks like a weird mountain edge of weird something and so what you can do is you can take this tool it is called the smooth height and what it does is it smooths everything out as you can see now now the edges look more like hills now since I'm not gonna use this as a hill obviously I will remove this and one neat thing for this tool uh, for all these three tools, let's say I'm going to use this though. The uh, size of cell is the blue side, blue one, and the blue is what makes it go up. And then there is the size, there is the brush feather, and this is the brush width and the brush feather. Now the feather creates a more a more hill effect, like you see right there. It's not just coming out of the ground; it's just more like the ground is raised. And so that's the same thing with all these three tools. And yes, I usually don't like to use a feather on this because if 
this is just meant to raise the ground and I can always use a softener to soften it out. So now I'm going to create a hill on the side. So I'm going to take this tool, I'm going to raise the brush size, and I'm going to keep the feather at 6 since I believe that's a good feather height. So I could just go on the edge and start creating a hill. Now as you can tell, the only part of the hill that you would see is from here to here. Right? That's the only part of the hill that we're going to see, this part. Why? Because this is the other range. Now, so you want to create the hill on this side. And just time to raise the hill. Now we can also create like having this having this map as all right so one more thing on the edge if you if you raise the edge it will raise this thing but it won't really affect anything in the game but it is just for personal Now, one thing about raising land is if the guy moves the camera here, and especially since mine is back, all they would be seeing is this. And their camera will suddenly be bumped up to here, and then they'll move it here, and then it'll be bumped up to here. And since, like, let's say there's, their view is like this, it'll move back. Let's zoom in more. Their view is like that. They'll move back, and then their view is going to go up like this because there's a mountain here. Now this is why I have, let's see your file, no. so this is why if you want to make a map, um, you'd usually want the map to create the width as the short length if you're going to make a valley on the side because you got you have to think about it like the camera view. So let's just add hills on the side and we can we can even make those hills accessible if you wanted to now as you can see this is going very slow what we can do is amount to raise uh, per feet so this tool allows the change how the brushes change per second what per, per, per click and so as you can see it's raising even more it's raising even faster right now why because I raised it now let's say we put this at 30 it'll raise incredibly fast look As you can see right there and you can use this for quick but not not detailed effects on the brush now I think this is a good hello I, and I will keep this weird hell because I like how it looks now as you can tell this weird color on everything that is not a color that will just appear gray on the map and it won't work out to any of any advantage of yours I suggest changing that add to a color and it will really 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 make your map look horrible if you don't put a color and just leave it like this so let's say I create this hill on the side right here as you can see the border okay so Oh yeah, and when you click the middle button, just click it without anything else, it'll put you back down to game camera view, like in-game camera view. So this is what the game looks like right now. Now what we can do is I'm going to lower this. I like it, but I have another idea for this. And an easy way to lower this and keep it level to the ground, as you can tell, I'm, I'm struggling to lower this, but then it goes too low and then I would want to raise it, but then it won't raise correctly. A good way to level this back to the ground and not have this big mess is clicking the flat, the height brush and setting it to the initial height of the ground which I set to 50 when we created the map. And now if you do, if I do this here nothing will happen but if I move here it will start to change the height of everything around it into 50, everything in that blue circle. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, 
that is done. And so, first of all, we want to put the player spawn. Uh, first of all, let us lower this back to the ground because. We can always change that later. Looks like this is lowered. Okay, so this is the map right now. We got hills on the side. 